Welcome to Spectrum Control's video on adding devices and tags to the Universal Industrial Gateway. For devices, we will be covering system and user, Ethernet and serial, along with adding a device. For tags, we will be covering system and user, along with adding tags. Let's begin by selecting the devices icon. This screen is divided into two panels, the devices you physically connect to the gateway and the tags associated with those devices. In the devices area, you will notice both system and user. System provides users a set of read-only tags specific to the gateway such as system, heartbeat, and time. User permits you to create tags local to the gateway, allowing the gateway to behave as a device with its own set of tags. This can be a very useful diagnostic tool. In this example, we are now going to connect a Compact Logix L306 Ethernet capable controller to the Universal Industrial Gateway. In the Devices panel, Click the Add button to configure the device properties and establish proper connection with the gateway. Here we will name the device, specify whether the device is connected to the Ethernet or serial port, select the appropriate protocol and port setting, add the IP address and slot number. These fields are dynamic based on what you specify for connection and protocol. You can test the connection to this device using the Test Device Connection button. If configured correctly, you will see a green check mark. Now, we are going to connect a Modbus serial device using the Modbus RTU protocol to the Universal Industrial Gateway. To add another device, click the Add Device button. Keep in mind, you can add multiple devices, each with a different protocol. When you select the appropriate protocol, the other fields pre-populate with typical defaults that you can customize if needed. For the Modbus RTU serial connection, the fields are Slave ID, Response Timeout in Seconds, retry count, end of message delay character count, and minimum command delay by milliseconds. Once complete, test the Modbus connection using the test device connection button. If you had more devices to communicate with, you can add them at this time or at any time in the future. From this panel, you can also modify properties of the device, delete a device, test a device's connection, which is a handy feature we have already used, and export a device and associated tags into a CSV file for documentation. Now let's take a look at the Tags panel. The Universal Industrial Gateway moves tag data between devices. In this panel, you will specify the tags whose data you want to move between devices. To add tags individually, select the device you will be adding tags to and click the Add button. In this example, we are adding a tag to the Compact Logix L306 Ethernet capable controller. Complete the tag property fields as the tag is configured in the originating device. Here, we will give the tag a name and description. Select the data type. As you can see here, the data type field pre-selects the correct options for you. And enter the address. You can also format a tag in the way of byte swap, word swap, or define it as an array. Now, we will add a tag to the Modbus serial device. Complete the tag property fields as the tag is configured in the originating device. You can also import a group of tags that you already have in your PLC. To do so, select the Import Tags button and specify a CSV file that identifies tags in the following format. Tag name, description, tag address, data type. Within the Tags panel, you can also modify tag properties if you want to give it an additional description, change the data type, etc. You can also delete a tag and export tags. You now have devices connected to your gateway and identify the tags you want to move between those devices. To continue setting up your Universal Industrial Gateway, please watch our video titled Creating Tag Maps. For additional information, please visit spectrumcontrols.com. Thank you for watching.